Ah, uh, I, ow, ow, I, I, I'm dying. Oh, goodbye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Eben, and welcome back to another episode of St. Reginald's. Is that supposed to be an impression? Because... Vaguely? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a sea lion exhibit. Hi, Goron and Wyatt. Hey. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I am really curious to see how you're going to edit that, but okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to have bizarre. so much fun with this. <laughs> you you're hate welcome. editing. You're I hate welcome. editing. <laughs> Um, yeah, so um, I worked on the sea lion exhibit, and as usual, it is around 90% finished. Um, I ran out of steam again, which is kind of bound to happen. With Bish, I barely of... even, like, 20% finish my shit. This is, <laughs> this is insane. Um, I told you guys in the last episode, hey, I want to make the old classic Bronx Zoo um, sea lion exhibit. And well, um, that's exactly what I did. Yeah, indeed. It's, it's yeah. Um, yeah, I quite like how it turned out. And I think I pissed off Ruble a lot by having <laughs> rock work that worked right out of the gate. Um, and he still hasn't been able to get his. Uh, oh yeah, that yeah. works wonderfully. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> his rocks can't even be traver traversed. Um, Goron, I think. I know. I know. I think you mean. I think you mean my is. rocks that I put in. Oh his yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. Why did, wait, why did the whiskers like? Do you see that? Oh yeah, the whiskers That's... are uh, acting weird. Yeah. Okay. Is this a, a bachelor group? Yes. Um, okay. So. This is the historic um, sea lion exhibit. So this is just like, okay, these are the ones that we're keeping here that need to be um, separated from the rest of the group. Mm. And behind this building, and I'm gonna do a whole explanation about the style of this building later on, but behind this building, um, there's space to build like a brand new area for the coastal exhibits, so like the sea otter, the sea, li the extra sea lion exhibits, the uh, the harbor seal. Is that one, the one on your list, Wyatt? I don't remember. <laughs> Probably. I mean, that's the most common. You one. don't remember? We don't <laughs> care. Well, we just <laughs> <say> Reginald too. <laughs> 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 new slogan dude i love it i don't know you probably didn't make this but i love those trees that are made out of the acacia saplings in the these? background oh nope. yeah. no no yeah, i those. made these yeah did these. you make that dude they look so good oh good <laughs> job you did it yay you did a good thing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um no so yeah this would be an exhibit that they can't destroy so therefore it's still used um, mm -hmm. But it's not meant to be like the main modern exhibit. Um, yeah. I made sure that there's space for that in the background. No, I actually really like that. Uh, we'll we'll see it in uh, like two weeks ish. Uh, maybe not. Okay, we'll see it in the future when I get to the second part of my Blydorp tour. Um, the the Blydorp actually does something similar to this. They have uh, an old sea otter enclosure, mm -hmm. uh, which isn't used anymore, and they have like a bachelor. Like, there's one male sea lion swimming around in that. Mm. Uh, oh. Which is just, like, separated from the, the the main, like, good sea lion enclosure. <laughs> this um, backdrop with the Domez lion house is so perfect. Yeah, no, this, this fits together so well. Like, you can definitely tell, like, these were made around the same time. And mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and this was kind of hard to build. Um, and that might sound weird, because there's... Nothing here. Like, nothing here. <laughs> um, and I came to the conclusion that there had to be nothing here because um, we have the coast area that starts from there and pretty much ends here. We have the forest area that's going to be right over there. And we have the um, rivers area that's coming right over here. So you need kind of a point where guests can like this is a, an area where so many guests come together that you need a point where you can like stand still for a minute and just look at the map. Um, 
to see where you're going next. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah. that was my excuse to not build anything here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks it looks really good as just kind of a functional like um, transition point between areas. Yeah, and I saw it in the Lincoln Park too as well that they have like big open plaza areas. Yeah. Um, and I thought like, okay, I need to stop trying to put stuff in here. I need it to be just as what it is. Yeah. Um, that's that's that is actually I will agree that is a very difficult thing to do. I thought you were gonna bitch about the pathing system and I was gonna make like a joke like, oh I'm even the path is hard, but no. That's what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> um so I wanna talk about the building in the back for a minute. Um Originally, there was a different kind of, and this is lore uh, wise. Originally, there was an old, yeah, there was an, uh, an older building here, <laughs> um, but it burned down. And <laughs> okay, yeah, let's, let's go. Yeah, let's go with let's go with it burning down and not just being like slowly aging. No, 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 no. I wanted to I wanted to have it be. I wanted it to be burned down so that we could get a completely new building. And, okay. And, and this building. How do you get rid of a listed building? Arson. Exactly. Arson. Um, this building is um, based on a Chicago style of architecture called Second Chicago School. Um, and it's a building um, style from the 1950s. And it's based on a chapel in Chicago by. Um, Mies van der Rohe, which is a German architect that is famous in Chicago. I did my research. Uh, yeah, look at you doing your homework. Yeah, yeah, I did my homework. So it's it's a lot rather boxy, um, but it was a ten intentional. Um, Wasn't and it, this just a, a building that you saw in a zoo as well? Or? No, no, it's based on a, a chapel um, and oh. it has the, the similar structure. So this is the uh, new backstage area. It is this is the part that's like 80% finished because I didn't, I ran out of steam again, um, which happens quite often. Uh, I can I can work with 80% finished. What the this is 80%. I mean, I guess, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess 80% I think, is, I think, is a lot. I think it looks at least 85% finished. <laughs> Dude. This is incredible. <laughs> Thank you. This is um, based on the Georgia Aquarium. Um, there's a staircase downstairs for a filter area, but I don't have anything there. Um, there's something wrong with the lamps. Um, they now create this kind of uh, Z fighting quite quickly. Um, so unfortunately, mm. there's some issues. Uh, but yeah, there's an entire backstage area over here. Holy wow. moly. Um, we have, of course, the three gates, A, B. Let's see, hmm. and each one has the marking uh, of each area. This is so like, this is gonna sound kind of weird, but this is so like fun. I don't know why. I'm just like <laughs> having fun looking at like how this is laid out and how like deceptively simple it is. Even uh -huh. though like the, the fence designs and stuff are super detailed. It took ages. <laughs> it's really so well done. Oh, I love the way that that circle is yeah. like open. That yeah, this is also based on Georgia Aquarium. They have something like this so that seals and sea lions can come up. I, I guess it's only for sea lions, of course, um, so that they can actually touch the snout uh, of them. Mm. So yeah, um, there's three exhibits here. There's one over here, there's one over here, and one over here. So you, Wyatt, you have three exhibits you can work with and build crazy stuff with. Totally. Um, so I because um, I because I assume you're going to be doing the modern part of this. I would all. like to, sure. <laughs> uh, um, but then I wonder, um, would the sea otters work in this building? Because um, like the the fencing itself is a bit. Yeah, no, no. I worry there would be some conflicts between the different. Yeah, species. no, 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 no. This is this is purely for the sea lions and the seals. Um, gotcha. This is also uh, the case in. Um, the Georgia Sea Aqu Aquarium, I got. Mm -hmm. um, they have the combination of the two. They also have like um, a very open space, which they just walk the animals along to the um, yeah. to their habitats, which I really like. 
Yeah, um, I think that's I think that's why I said like this seems really like fun because I can yeah. just pic- I can picture the pinnipeds just walking down this like carpeted area into their little <laughs> into their little homes. Yeah, it's so freaking cool, dude. <laughs> Thank you. This all took so much longer than uh, than it is taking me to show you guys, which is kind of <laughs> annoying. <laughs> um, because I worked so hard on all of this, um, I did make a new scale and Ooh. Ooh. a new version of the uh, tap, which I yeah. really like. I love. I I'm. I really love the the tap, especially with the the rope faucet, because that is yeah. such a thing in like backstages. I've been in like museum backstages for like fossil prep, and they have that exact thing. It's so mm. cool. Oh, thank you. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, what I've done so far. I am going to exit uh, this mode for a minute to show you some other cool stuff. So um, to prevent the leaf litter from forming from yeah, being on the glass and like birds trying to nest here, they installed this mesh to make sure that doesn't happen. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I could see the mesh from down there, but I thought it was different. Yeah. yeah that's um, cool. I still love how this looks. I know it sounds stupid, but it's just so no, much it, fun. Yeah. It works so well. Like the rocks blend so well together. And it was such an absolute pain to make it all work. Uh, but the, the the tip that I can give to anyone <laughs> is start with the water <laughs> yep. and build around that. That yeah. made it so much easier, um, especially because at one point. I had put this a little bit further that way, mm-hmm. um, which meant that I had to um, move it again, um, which was kind of a good thing. And Goron already knows because <laughs> I accidentally lost a safe. One of them got corrupted. Uh, not like the both of them got corrupted, my both, both of the saves. So I had to go to an older one and it was like, oh no, I have to start all over, but I still had this, which helped massively. Yeah. Um, we also have this uh, cool view over here. Mm. Yes. Oh my god, I can just imagine if there's a sea lion on top of there. Yeah, if there's that one up so on cool. top of there, it's amazing. Uh, I also installed uh, a, clearly a much more modern ramp. Um, I like that a lot. Oh and, yeah, because that was like a later edition. Like yes, after. exactly. Um, and as Mike pointed out there had to be something here to put and I didn't find anything that really that I liked so I, I went for these uh, lamp posts. Those look great. There's more that I've done um, but for that I need to zoom out a bit. So it's not completely done yet but I started fixing some of the terrain that we were having because oh right yeah, yeah. we talked we talked about that during a uh, a planning session um here there was like a massive jump in terrain to a point where there was no way we could ever hi guys uh, <laughs> to a point that was just playing they're just playing on the lawn <laughs> there was there was no way that we would be able to get it gradual yeah, yeah. like make it any shape way or form realistic so I did that. That does mean that I have to continue that over here, and that means that I have to place down this again. Oh my god! Oh, so that's <laughs> gonna be fun. <laughs> it, it does. It does work though, because I wait a second. Where is everything that Wyatt did? <laughs> yeah. Funny, oh funny, yeah. Funny you mentioned that, Boron. Um, <laughs> because when, when I when I tra- when I sent the file to Even, I assume there was some <laughs> modded gunk on one of the blueprints I used that e- that, that was from a mod that Even didn't have, and we don't want mods in this file. So um, I'm just gonna go in and blueprint a bunch of stuff and strip it until I can find what was the problem. And then we're just going to put it back and it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I love this game. <laughs> it's so cool right. when this and happens. The following month, first uh, take is going to be a bit lighter in, in episode <laughs> content. <laughs> it does mean that I'll have to make this, make this go... Uh, make this terrain go a little lower i think it either yeah no go... i i think that's actually really good i i had gotten some feedback from people from chicago who were like yeah th- th- the zoo is way too like 
Yeah. Chicago is Chicago is really flat, basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so okay. it's, yeah. in the, it's in the Great Plains, like literally. So yeah, yeah. So I'll move this down as well. Um, and we had a visitor. Is that right? Did he already do it? No. Oh, oh not yet. <laughs> we have some post-it notes from our dear friend Mike Sheets. Yay. Um, Mike says, "This isn't good." <laughs> Oh, exactly. That's how I felt. Mike says this needs a berm to prevent elephant dung from falling into the water. And I'm like, fair enough, fair enough. That, that's fair enough. And then he started, he said something, make this smaller. I made a reference to a body part of his that I'm not going to do. <laughs> um, uh-huh. His heart. Um, his heart. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> This also needs a, a beach area, he said. I don't know how to write, uh, how to spell beach. I did my best. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Mike, Mike I think went you like... you forgot a T in there somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, we have Mike. I, I asked Mike like, hey, do you want to critique my, my uh, sea lion area? And he went, oh yes, please. Um, <laughs> And then he went on and on about the creek. So that's something we're going to try yeah. to fix I will quote, well. you Euros don't know how American creeks work. <laughs> that is... Which, um, yes, we don't. I will yeah, admit. I'm sorry that we don't live in America. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Living in America. <laughs> uh, that, that should be the episode title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah. yeah. This is what you wanted, right? You can barely yeah. see the sea lion. <laughs> get, in, get in explore mode, even. I didn't know ca- sea lions were so camouflaged. Let's <laughs> <laughs> put all those land sharks. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, this is what I've done. It it it, can't, it it's kind of going to be a shorter episode, obviously. Yeah, it um, doesn't feel like a lot, but I can see that it was a lot. Yeah, it yeah. was so much work. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm really happy with the results. Um, it is a build that I've been wanting to do for such a long time, and there was never really a series in which I felt like I can do it, and uh, mm-hmm. this will fit the style. Um, and then St. Reginald came along, and then we decided to go for it. Um, yeah these kinds of exhibits as well and i was super happy Um, and i've been looking forward to this for so long that i'm super super happy with the result yeah yeah so goron you're going to abandon us for a week yeah (laughs) good luck (laughs) i mean i'm gonna go get some some inspiration in germany so uh yeah hey didn't we just didn't we just get like an American telling us that we should stop using European inspiration, and you're telling me you're going to Germany for inspiration. Well, maybe not for Saint Reginald, but <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me what to do. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so while I'm away, even you're gonna you're gonna fix you're gonna implement the mic post-it notes. I've heard. Partly, yes. I've already stepped back from my promise a bit because I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Oh, well. Uh, but I'm going to fix the terrain on the other side. Um, that's for sure. I'm going to try to fix at least part of the creek. Um, but with Mike being in Miami, I don't have I don't have time. I, I can't bother him for uh, for more critique. No, it's... So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, what will you work on when you get back, though? Uh, probably wrapping up the bird house, but I, I don't think I have time that week. I feel like the thing I want to do the most is the, the butterfly part of it mm-hmm. uh, as a change yeah. of pace. Um, so yeah, something yeah, like that. It's going to be cool. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.